Hello, happy Saturday. It is pretty late in the afternoon now. Um, the Bo and I have had a pretty relaxing weekend so far. I did pop into Sephora today to check out the Sephora sale and I picked some things up and I'll show you guys probably in a separate haul. The Bo is doing some winter tire changes right now. So I am going to put up our Christmas tree. It's November 11th, which is Remembrance Day here. It may be still a little too early to put it up, but it's already November, so I'm gonna do that. I feel like there might've been something else I wanted to say, but can't think of it right now. Christmas tree is up. It looks exactly the same as last year. I was thinking of changing the decorations, but can't be bothered. Happy Friday. I haven't picked up the camera all week, so I kind of feel out of sorts on where I even left off in this vlog, but I am heading to work. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing very quickly. It is casual Friday, so I'm wearing um, just like this knit sweater from Forever 21, ages ago. It's still actually um, in good condition. Scarf is from The Bay. It's from their Hudson's Bay brand. It's a cashmere line. Um, the jacket, you guys know, is from Aritzia. I got it last year. Khakis are The Gap, and then these are new Chelsea boots that I picked up, which are from Timberland. I'm trying to think what is new with me. This past week has just been busy. I've been busy at work. I had a co-op for a few months, probably since May. Her last week was, or her last day was um, on Tuesday this week. So um, yeah, I've just kind of been working on some outstanding things that she didn't get a chance to finish before she left. Um, I placed a couple more orders on Sephora.com for the sale. Uh, one I placed on Monday and it hasn't shipped or anything so I don't know if it's just the volume of the orders that probably went out and that's why but yeah I haven't heard uh, no shipping confirmation or anything. It's been a week now. I also placed another order for my mom on the last day of the sale which would have been I guess yesterday. Yesterday? Thursday? So I've just been like working. It's been kind of cold. It's minus three right now. Um, I have been using the Tarte Toasted Palette for um, the majority of the week. I've been playing around with the shades because uh, it's, I'm, it's, I'm going for a work look. I have just been gravitating towards really the same color families, just maybe in different orders. Anyway, I really, really like that palette. Uh, I don't know if I like it more than the Tartlet in Bloom palette, but it's a nice little addition because um, I don't obviously have any shades like it in my collection. So um, yeah, it's nice. And it actually pairs quite well with the Tartlet in Bloom. I'm home. What do you guys think of the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today? So this is how it looks after a full day's wear. Um, like I said this morning, I've been kind of just playing around with it. This lip color I'm wearing now is the, um, it's from It Cosmetics. I don't remember what it is. It's just like the gloss that they have. Um, I did not reapply my lipstick, the lipstick that I was wearing this morning because uh, I forgot it at home. So I just popped this on, but I got mail. So while I am waiting for the bow to come home so we can go for a Friday, I will show you guys what I got in the mail. Um, I ordered something from the Bay. I had a whole bunch of HVC points to redeem and I also um, needed new boots. Okay, so I needed new winter boots. So in the past three or four years or four winter seasons, I have been using um, these boots from Timberland. I really like them. I will link them below. They're still available. So if you also like them, you can still pick them up. I believe they're about $189. I like them. They're leather. Um, they have like that thin slit material. They're comfortable to wear. They're plain looking. Um, I got them in the brown color so that, I don't know, I just, I like brown colored winter boots. I feel like the brown looks better with a lot of my winter gear, so that's why I choose that color. Anyway, I need new ones, not necessarily because those ones are old, but, you know, they kind of are. I mean, they're four, I've used them for four winters. I just wanted to get some new ones to kind of you know, switch up my winter wear. So I picked up some boots from the Bay, from the brand Ugg, which I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with. These are the Adirondack boots. So these are the short version. I think they're called the Adirondack 2. Okay, this is all the information. So Ugg women's Adirondack boot number two, and it's in the colorway Otter, I believe, which is just their classic brown. And I am a seven. So there's all of your, um, authentication stuff and then 
this is what the boot looks like. So pretty simple. I love this colorway. It's like the black with the um, camel color. Here's just another look at the boots. So what I like about these boots um, and what I can't do with my current boots is you can wear these two different ways. So you can have um, the boot, the shaft all the way up or you can actually fold this down. Um, typically I just prefer to wear um, boots like this. It's Saturday now and um, last night the Bo and I had sushi for our fry date. It was really good. It's been a while, while since I've had sushi. I probably haven't had sushi since before my trip to Paris. Um, speaking of, I am putting together my Paris vlog. However, I am upgrading my laptop to the new Mac OS, which is called Hi Sierra. And whenever there is a new operating system, I like to start from scratch. So I am in the process of erasing my current hard drive and then reinstalling the new operating system. It always makes me really nervous, even though I back up all of my stuff. Um, but just the thought of like losing all my photos and losing all my documents and like I guess all my vlog footage on Final Cut Pro kind of gives me a bit of anxiety. But I always like to start fresh because um, I don't know, it just feels good. I was playing with makeup this morning. Um, this is a look that I created with the Tartlet Toasted Palette. And I really, really like it. Um, I kind of messed up the inner corners a little bit because I just discovered the James Corden segment that he does on his show called, I think it's called Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts. I probably spent the last 40 minutes watching um, the segments on YouTube and they have had me cracking up and tearing up. They're hilarious. So if you haven't seen those yet, you should because they're so funny. Success. So I currently have um, 484 gigabytes of free space. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. It is Tuesday and I just got home from work. I am gonna have dinner and that's pretty much it. Those are my plans for this evening. Actually, the bone and I just got a new um, rug for our living room. So I'm going to hang out in the living room because I'm kind of obsessed with that rug. It's so cozy. So I have done it again and I spent uh, too much money at Sephora. So I ended up getting their um, VIB Rouge gift for this year and it's a brush. It's actually quite cute. I'll show it to you guys because I also got um, another eyeshadow, a Burberry eyeshadow to replace the one I'm decluttering from Burberry. So I'm decluttering the shadow in Pale Barley and I am going to be replacing it with this other shadow called, I think it's just called Nude. Okay, these are the two shadows. So this one is Pale Barley and this one is Nude. So this has definitely more of a metallic finish to it. Um, and I like Pale Barley in the pan, but just applied on, it looks a little odd on me. So this is what it looks like. So of course on the left side is nude and then on the right is pale barley. So nude is a bit warmer. Um, it still kind of has maybe a grayish undertone to it, but I feel like pale barley looks really ashy on me. And this is the brush that I got as, a, I guess, a perk for hitting the IB Rouge again. I actually quite like this brush. You can purchase this, um, just not in the red color. Uh, I think it's about $30, so not quite the extravagant gift for <laughs> spending so much money at Sephora, but it's nice. Hey, I'm home and I thought I would show you guys my outfit because I really love my outfit today and I think I might wear it again this Friday because again, I'm uh, not on at work, I'm off-site for professional development, so I'm almost tempted to just rewear this outfit because I think it's so cute. So this is what I wore today. Um, this sweater is from Vera Moda. I think I already showed you guys this sweater. I love the bell sleeves on this and um, I just think it's so cute and I love like the the neckline and I think it's really nice and comfy. And then I'm wearing black trousers and these shoes which I got in the Philippines. I actually had to get these resold because um, the sole was uh, busted on one of them. It cost like $70 to do that. These shoes are probably worth $20 but I just love them so much and they have sentimental value to me so I opted to have them repaired instead of replacing them. Um, I wear them all the time. Well I used to before I had to get them replaced um, but yeah. Hi, I just got home from my professional development course. It's kind of a full day thing. I had to be there for eight. Um, it's like 4.50 now. So I left at 4.30. Um, part of this professional development course is a presentation. So for the, I guess, last hour and a bit of the day, we had to prepare a presentation. And then tomorrow we have about like half an hour 
to kind of finalize it and then present, I guess, for nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, anyway, I'm home. Uh, the Bo is also doing a professional development course today. So he took the GO train downtown, so I gotta pick him up later. I think he said he was gonna be home around seven. On a side note, I thought I would show you guys um, two things that I picked up from my mom. So these are two skincare things that she had wanted to try. Um, I picked them up during the sale. Uh, but this is the Laneige Vitamin Brightening Cleansing Water. Oops. And then this is a moisturizer, I believe. Um, so this is the hydrating gel. I believe they have one too. I think it's a hydrating cream maybe. Um, but anyway, I'll ask my mom how she gets along with these because I get a lot of questions about like Laneige brands. And I think I mentioned it in a vlog before, but I actually had a really bad uh, skin reaction, irritation to a Laneige product. Uh, it was a product that I picked up at Target um, many, many years ago. It was like a, almost like a toning, toning water or an essence. Um, anyway, it just made me break out uncontrollably. So I don't know exactly what ingredient it was that was in that product that made my skin go crazy, but I had um, not even just like um, like white bumps. I actually had uh, like acne breakouts all over my forehead and it lasted for quite a while because at first I didn't think that it was that product so I kept using it and um, yeah, the acne started to be really deeply rooted into my skin. But thankfully I figured it out, stopped using it and haven't had a bad reaction like that again. So I have been wary about trying Laneige products, uh, but my mom has tried a couple things from the brand and has not had a problem. She has a much different skin than me though. Uh, just in the sense that her skin is very sensitive. Okay, I am just making dinner now. I marinated some pork tenderloin this morning and now I'm just making it. Um, the bow isn't set to come home for another like hour and a half, so I'll have lots of time. Um, I'll wait for him to have dinner though. Uh, I'm thinking I might pop into Sephora. Um, actually, okay, so I'm taking my professional development course um, tomorrow morning and uh, it's in town, it's really close. It's only about a 15 minute drive. So I'm tempted to actually go to Sephora first thing this morning or tomorrow morning and just like scope out their Black Friday sales. Um, the mall's supposed to open at like seven. Um, so yeah, I can just go in, come out, and then head to my um, professional development course because it's again only about like 15 minutes away from the mall. So I'm debating on doing that. I'm not sure whether I'll do that or go to the gym. It's tough decisions. Anyway, I decided I'm gonna get an advent calendar this year. Um, I haven't gotten an advent calendar in a while, a beauty one at least. And I like this one from Luxatan. So they have two. And right now they have like a Black Friday special on their the one that I picked up. So Luxatan has two advent calendars. So one is their signature advent calendar and then the other one is their luxury one. So I was really debating whether or not to get the or like the signature one or the luxury advent calendar, but I decided on just getting the smaller advent calendar. It wasn't even because of the price. My reasoning behind it is actually quite funny. Um, I chose the more inexpensive advent calendar because it has smaller samples. So the luxury advent calendar actually has quite generous sizes of certain products. My thinking with that is I already have tons of different products. Like I probably shouldn't even be getting an advent calendar because it kind of adds to the clutter of the samples that I have. So the signature advent calendar is on special right now for 57, but the uh, luxury advent calendar is about 100 something. Uh, but like I said, you get um, larger sample sizes of products, so you'll be able to use them, you know, for a while, and that's kind of the deterrent for me. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys the calendar. I just placed an order yesterday for it, uh, so I don't know when it's supposed to be shipped. Hopefully I receive it before December 1st because I really want to um, start opening it. Okay, so this is what the uh, signature advent calendar looks like. So it's very cute. Um, it just has, you know, four or 24 um, sample size products, so nothing is like overly large. Um, but I'm really excited. I think it looks really cute. Um, of course, it lists all of the products that are in here. Um, I tried not to read into it too much because I kind of do want to be a little bit surprised, but 
I'm excited for that. This one is the luxury advent calendar. So if you want to spend a little bit more, it's $134. I don't think you'll be disappointed because you can see just um, by the photo, there's quite a few samples that are quite large. Um, so I think it's, you know, good value for the money that you're spending. Uh, but just for me, like this is a lot of products to go through. <laughs> and that's why I went with the, um, the signature advent calendar instead not just because of the price but because um, I don't really want to um, take forever to use up all of these products